If I have a quarter for every time AEW Dynamite went under 800k, I'd be a millionaire. Sadly, it doesn't work like that, but we do the quarter ratings instead. Welcome back to the channel, it's Fog Wrestling. We're going to break down the 23rd of October 2024 AEW quarter ratings. And uh, yeah, the show was absolute mince. Well, it wasn't actually that bad. I gave it a 3 out of 10. The marks didn't like it. I mean, yeah, I didn't really like it either, but... Compared to the normal AEW shows, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it was much worse. It seems to be whatever the marks don't like, we don't mind. But whatever the marks love, we absolutely hate. But uh, obviously the overall rating was 637,000 viewers. As for the 1849, 0.19, Dave Meltzer was completely marking out about this because... They beat NXT in the uh, the quarter ratings, but again, not 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 in the quarter ratings. They beat them in the uh, the demographic, but NXT beat them in the overall, and it it's just pathetic. Oh my my comp But Dave Meltzer's like Dave Meltzer's an independent journalist. He shouldn't have a honestly. I don't care who wins between AEW and Dynamite. I think there is more. I think there is more outrage, and I think there is a bit more banter, right? When you know Dynamite lose, but honestly, if, if Dynamite smoked NXT. For the rest of time. I'm not going to lose any sleep about it. Put it that way. Anyway. Quarter one. Begun. With the Big Bang Fairy lead in. The biggest baby face on Dynamite. Miss Sheldon Cooper. 8 o'clock day 15. We had a recap. John Moxley promo. Hangman Adam Page. Bang Bang Gang Live Angle. MVP. Shelton Benjamin backstage promo. Benjamin. Against Sammy Guevara begun. We kicked off with 832,000 viewers. 318,000 in the 18 to 49 and, and and can you not see like the immediate problem here with dynamite folks it's like how are they ever going to get back above eight hundred thousand when even their their number one quarter is barely above eight hundred thousand, and then after that there's not even a quarter in seven hundred thousand. so absolutely abysmal man into quarter two eight fifteen to eight thirty shelton benjamin against sammy gaffera continued through pip ads Mariah May, Anna J, Backstage Angle, Will Osprey, Kyle Fletcher, Fidio, Fletcher, live promo. Um, we lost 17%. 17%. I mean, you're looking at about what? I think this was 144,000 viewers gone. I mean, just shows you what sort of reach Sheldon Cooper's got, folks. I mean, 17% of your audience just tuning it couldn't give a damn. Absolutely tragic to say the least. Quarter three, eight thirty to eight forty-five. Cal Fletcher live promo continued. He shaved his dome. Ricochet MVP Benjamin backstage. The Pillars of Destiny against Brian Cage and Lance Archer. This went down seven percent, down to six four one. Uh, and then in eighteen to forty-nine, it did two six two, and that was a decrease of five percent. So I, I mean, as you can see, we're, it's just constant constantly going down like there is there ain't no stopping on us now absolutely friggin not man uh, then in the quarter four 8.45 to 9 o'clock Chuck Taylor Orange Cassidy angle Mark Briscoe against Jericho begun we went down 5% then minus 10 in the 18 to 49 but no need to fear quarter five the start of the hour 9 o'clock to 9.15 Jericho Briscoe continued uh, Rocky Romero Demir Rashia, Chris Datlander, Fidio, Adam Cole, Undisputed Kingdom, MJF promo. This went up 9%, up to 669,000 viewers. Up 16% though, in the 18 to 49, 275,000 viewers. So again, here, Jericho, ladder, I mean, a ladder match on free TV is always going to do well if you do it right. You know, if you do the basics right, people are going to tune into that. And it seems to be that's what people did. So, we'll take it. AEW will absolutely take it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. After this, though, into quarter six, we had ad break Jamie Hayter um, backstage promo. House of Black took on Jaden Monroe, Kevin Coa, and Parita Del Murta. I mean, Parita Del Murta? Is that Pirate of the Dead? Is that what that means? Pirate of the Dead in Spanish? 
I'm going to assume so. Adam Cole, Buddy Murphy's backstage angle, Camille versus Queen, Amanita, down 13%. <laughs> I mean, is it any surprise? Down to 583 boys and viewers. Now, whopping minus 16%. In the 18 to 49. Oh, just dire numbers here. Then into quarter seven, 9.30 to 9.45, with Camille versus Queen Amita continued through pip slash full screen ads, post-match with Mercedes Money, Chris Statlander, the Patriarchy angle, hook the Patriarchy, Kip Sabian live promo ad break down 1%. And then it went up three in the 18 to 4. But I mean, I, again, I mean, I'm actually surprised that the rating didn't nosedive. I mean, we're, we're talking. I mean, listen to some of these. I mean, the Patriarchy... Right, I, I like Christian, but see the rest of them, they're all jobbers. I don't know. No, they are all jobbers. I'm going to have to defend people there. I was going to defend Big Bill, and I was like, we actually use Jericho. Uh, I had to quickly retract my statement there, or else it would have been very, very wrong. I'll let you know there. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, just jobbers left, right, and centre. Then begun quarter eight, which is Daniel Garcia and Private Party against the Elite. We lost 8%. Down to five three two, and it's like dynamite. It's just so bad. Like th that's an awful rating. You know, two hundred thirty thousand and eighteen to forty nine. Um, the joint lowest quarter of the show in terms of a eighteen to forty nine demographic, but it's just, it's so poor. It is honestly so so poor. That rating. There's there's nothing there's nothing good to say about that. You know what I mean? Like the elite against Daniel Garcia and Pryor. See, considering some of the name value, right, that AEW's got, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to pretend, right, they're absolutely stacked to the core, right? But you could get, you could get big ass main offence every week. And, and, you know, it's the same in WWE. You know what I mean? Like, see if they want it to, like, you, you could get, like, Roman Reigns teaming up with Jimmy Uso and CM Punk or something to take on the bloodline on on a free episode of TV. See in AEW, you know, you, you could get like no, I mean AEW there's a lot less stars than AEW. You know what I mean? Like you, you could get Christian teaming up with like a heel. See the more you think of it, like AEW's roster is fucking shite. See in WWE, you get CM Punk, yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? You've got Roman Reigns, you get the bloodline, and then the rest of them suck. <laughs> The wrestling's just in a dire state, man. Anyway, yeah, there was an overrun. 10 o'clock to 10.06. Danny Garcia and Private Party against the Elite continued. Post-match with Blackpool Combat Club. The conglomeration and Chuck Taylor. This was 532,000. 0%. Um, not 0.17 in the 18 to 49. Up 2% to 200, I mean, 234,000. But again... Really poor ratings. And if Sheldon Cooper and the Big Bang Theory didn't exist, you would be worried for AEW's existence on TBS. You know, it certainly wouldn't be TBC. And TBC stands for To Be Continued. And this shite wouldn't be getting continued. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below, because this is tragic. <laughs>